Hi, Cat's Cradle here. I have a loved one who's sick, and we have been in the emergency room twice within the past four days. And you know that when you leave the emergency room, they make you sign that you're being released, and then they send you a little sheet home saying uh, what you should do and what you should look for, or what you should expect, and when to see your doctor, and all that kind of stuff. Well, on one of the sheets uh, from the first hospital we went to, they gave us this uh, yellow sheet, and it had all kind of things on there, just kind of a checklist so they could, you know, check off anything they wanted you to do. And there was a section on wound care and a section on head injuries, and all, all of it was very informative. But what caught my attention was this little section that said fever, flu, or cold. And, of course, they tell you to rest and drink plenty of fluids and to take a, a tepid bath if your fever is over 103. But below it is what, what caught my eye, and it is a dosing chart for both uh, Motrin and for Tylenol. And as I looked at that, I thought how handy that would have been for me when my child was young because I can remember many a night getting up in the middle of the night and looking at that little tiny bottle and trying to figure out where in the heck was the information about how to dose and did I did I look at the age or did I look at the weight or did it you know trying to figure all this out when your child is sick in the middle of the night uh, it's just a little bit hard to do and I thought how handy would it have been had I had this chart taped inside the medicine cabinet door or wherever you know, I usually dose up the medicine. How how nice it would have been to have this chart and just have looked at it and said, yes, she weighs 22 pounds, so I need to give her a teaspoon of Motrin. It would have been so easy. And so I'm thinking that what I'm going to do is in the show more section below the video, I'm going to reproduce this little chart right here for you because I can't give you a link to it. It's just on a paper sitting here on my desk. But I'm going to type it up for you so that if you if you like this one, you can use it. Now, down at the bottom, you see where it says frequency? That's up to the ER doctor's discretion. But all the instructions uh, that I see, and I've looked at many sites for you, say that uh, the frequency should be to give the medication every four to six hours, not exceeding five doses in a 24-hour period. So if you wanted to add that just as a reminder to yourself, you can. You also can go look at other websites. There's other great dosing charts. Here is one that is from uh, Children's Hospital in St. Louis and I really like the way it's laid out. This one would be easy just to print for you to copy into a, uh, uh, a document and then just print it off for yourself and if it were me I would laminate that thing so that if I dropped medicine on it or I got water on it or a kid threw up on it I'd be able to wipe it off and go right on. In fact tomorrow I may show you my little inexpensive laminator that I use for so many things. Another good site I found was this pediatric group in Connecticut a Willow Pediatric Group and you can see dosage charts there. I'll give you the link below so that you can look. They've got dosing for acetaminophen which is uh, Tylenol. They've got it for ibuprofen and uh, Benadryl as well and that might be handy for you to have so I'm going to post that link for you below. Now I want to put this little disclaimer I am not a doctor I am not uh, personnel in the medical profession at all you need to look at these charts decide what would be useful for you and then make that decision for your family I'm not making any recommendation other than to say that it might be helpful for you to have uh, uh, one of these dosing charts handy even if you don't have a little one at home I mean I'm a grandmother as well and you know kids come over here to visit what about in a worst case scenario where you were responsible maybe for some neighbor uh, children for a while, say their parents were injured or hurt and, and had to be away from them and you had to take care of their children. I'm just saying this might be a good thing to have. The other thing I liked is on one of these charts it was listed listing the little chewable tablets like you give to children when they have fever and it said uh, if you were 96 pounds and above like an adult that you should take eight of them and I cannot tell you how many times I had children's medication that was about to expire like chewable Tylenol and I thought well I'll just get rid of those next time you know I have a little fever or a headache or something I'll just I'll just use those but I never knew how many to use so I think that's funny that uh, that it tells you uh, you know if you're 96 plus pounds you need to chew eight of them so uh, anyway I just thought this might be helpful for you I know it's a little diversion from 
from what I normally do, but I was so struck when I saw this little chart on this go home page that they sent us from the emergency room. I looked at that and I thought, wow, how many years would I have loved to have had that uh, long before the internet where I could readily pull these kind of things up. Uh, anyway, if it can if it can help you, I'm happy. And uh, don't just look at the websites I listed. Just look around and you might find some other interesting things like this that, that would make a ready reference right at your fingertips. Don't just look at the dosing charts when you go to visit those web pages. They have other valuable information, some things that you may not know that uh, you should always look at the weight as opposed to the age when going to administer medication to children. That some medications, the medications that come with droppers for infants, that is concentrated medication and you do not interchange those dosage with the other liquids that are in bottles that are to be dispensed with a syringe or with a spoon. So important to know, the little bottles with the dropper, that's very concentrated medication and you don't interchange those dosages. The other thing uh, several of them recommended was that you actually use a measuring spoon as opposed to a silverware teaspoon that's in your drawer because it's much more accurate. Anyway, lots of really good information. I hope you find it helpful and, um, and that it'll be a benefit to you. Until next time, this is Cat's Cradle.